Welcome to Edison Medicine. This session is continuation of our previous session on preparation of MRCS and other competitive exams such as USMLE. We were discussing about disorders of pigmentation in our previous video and today we will be talking about hyperpigmentation disorders. First one is lentigens and second one is freckles, both of which present as brown macules but have some basic differences. Lentigens are caused by increased number of melanocytes, whereas freckles are caused by increased activity of melanocytes. Lentigens may appear in any skin color as well-defined macule, whereas freckles appear in fair skin people as less well-defined macule. Lentigens may be found in any part of body including mucosa and there is no change in color on sun exposure whereas freckles are found in photo-exposed parts only and dark and exposure to sun. Now, talking about Putzeger syndrome, which often presents with hyperpigmentation disorder, it is a rare autosomal dominant condition associated with small bowel polyps and lentigens in this condition are seen around lips, buccal mucosa and fingers. Next hyperpigmentation disorder is melasma, which presents as pattern macular hyperpigmentation distributed symmetrically on forehead, nose, cheeks, and chin. Now, etiopathogenesis, UV rays or hormonal imbalance resulting from pregnancy and oral contraceptives can trigger formation of melasma. Talking about treatment, photoprotection, use of hydroquinone, which inhibits tyrosinase activity, and retinoic acid. Hyperpigmentation disorder can result from Addison's disease, which is an autoimmune condition with primary hypoadrenalism and secondary hyperpituitarism. ACTH synthesized from pro-opium melanocortin results in increased melanogenesis and that causes generalized pigmentation or localized pigmentation in buccal mucosa, palmar creases, scars and flexures. Now, drug-induced hyperpigmentation that can be caused by drugs such as clofazimine leading to orange color pigmentation, especially in leprosy patients or soralins causing brown pigmentation. Also, estrogens and progesterones can cause melasma-like pigmentation. Anti-cancer drugs such as cyclophosphamide or bleomycin can lead to generalized pigmentation. This covers our revision on pigmentation disorders. We will be presenting with more videos for higher exams like MRCS and USMLE. Till then, stay tuned with us. Thank you.